So like three days ago, I was sitting there watching TV, right? And I started hearing a faint little meow, 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 you know, in the in the background. And I paused the TV or whatever show I was watching, and I was like, "What? What is that?" And I was like, "Nobody around here has cats." So I was like, "Maybe one of the neighbors got cats." Heard it again. Uh, I noticed that it was coming from our little porch area, so I went out there to look, and there was this little kitten sitting in the porch, all scared, and I was like, what in the world? I was like, where did you come from? And and I was waiting for somebody to show up and be like, oh, that's my kitten or something, or perhaps the, the mama cat, you know, show up and, you know, try to get her or something, but nobody ever showed up, so I brought her in, and, um... Gave her some food and some water because she looked like she was scared. And she just started hanging out. She started hanging out. And that was like three days ago maybe. I put up a little flyer next to the mailboxes to see if anybody would claim her. And so far nothing. Nobody has said anything. So hopefully it wasn't one of those people that gets a pet. You know because they think it's going to be all fun and games. And, which is fun. Having a pet is fun. But it's also a lot of work. Um... So, you know, Monique and I have been thinking about it, like, oh, are we going to keep, you know, should we keep her, should we not keep her? Like, you know, we've had dogs before, they're living back in California with my mom. My mom wanted to keep them there because, you know, she, she loves the dogs, so she we left her, we left the dogs with her, and they, they love hanging out there. And um, also because we were going to move into an apartment out here in Texas, so we were like, they're used to having a big backyard. So we decided to leave them there, and we see them whenever we go over. So... Yeah, so now this cat shows up, and Monique and I have talked about, you know, having, taking a uh, a cat in, uh, going to rescue one or something, and then this one shows up on our back porch. Uh, so, as of now, we have decided that, you know, if nobody claims her, we are going to keep her. Uh, we've bought a couple things for her, nothing, nothing much, in case somebody, you know, shows up and it's like, hey, you know, that's my kitten or something. Um, yeah, but... You know, so her name that we gave her is, Monique gave her, is Orphe the Orphan. She was, her name is Orphe. Orphe the Orphan. And uh, she's very fun. She's uh, very playful, very cuddly. She's just a kitten. And she wants to s explore every corner of the apartment and just see everything. So hopefully everything goes well with the kitten. And uh, yeah, so say hi. Leave a comment below. Say hi to Orphy, O R P H Y, Orphy the orphan, and uh, perhaps you'll see her from time to time on the video. But like I said, today I went to the bins. We made it down to the bins today. Maybe, hopefully, I can find some stuff to flip. I do have a little bag full of stuff here. A little IKEA bag. What is this? Oh, uh, I'm not seeing anything exciting today, though. Got some hats. Kind of some of the usual stuff that I move nothing really nothing really exciting and I don't know how many rows they've um, swapped out already I got here kind of late and even hats there hasn't been too many hats oh here's one Cleveland Browns I'll take that one somebody will buy it got lots of pillows out lots of pillows out pillows there pillows over there Pillows everywhere. Got some bolt cutters. This has got to be retightened. That would probably be a good pickup, but not gonna take it. Not gonna take it. See anything under there? Nothing good. Some video games. Raving rabbits for the what is it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Iron Man head. Those popper things that everybody's into. Just make sure nothing's hiding. I don't see anything. Looks like we got some uh, graphic novels here. Ooh, these are good ones too. A 
Oh, you know I'm gonna take all this. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. That's good stuff right there. Looks like somebody just put that back because it wasn't there when I was looking earlier. I kind of like this little van. Hot Wheels. Little Hot Wheels, of course. Uh, always looking for Hot Wheels. And if you don't know, and you're into Hot Wheels, follow my TikTok. It's a lot of fun. I want to get a little update on how my eBay is going and stuff like that. I stopped using um, list perfectly because even though it would list perfectly, it did do what it said it was going to do. It would be easy to cross list and it was just a piece of cake to cross list. Um, the sales weren't coming in on the other platforms to, to keep list perfectly. Like it wasn't adding up. I wasn't making enough to, to keep using list perfectly. I wish I would have because I would have would have been cool but i was uh, yeah i think it's like 50 was it 50 bucks a month or something like that 50 bucks a month and just the sales from the other platforms there wasn't enough for me to keep using it so i decided not to use it uh i'm probably gonna stop listing on um poshmark because i do get sales from time to time but i think the thing that hurts it is that my my hats are used and they're i price them at like 13 14 15 16 bucks uh, but the shipping, the way shipping is, is handled through Poshmark, it's priority. I don't think people want to pay um, $8 to get a, like, $10 hat. You know, $10 used hat. Uh, I've even tried, like, free shipping, but then that really eats away at my profit. So I'm like, eh, you know. So I think I'm going to stop listing on, uh, on Poshmark. Uh, Mercari has been really slow for me. It's been dead for me. So I'm thinking the hat thing isn't... Because the only thing I've been cross-listing are hats. Um, and Mercari, some hats sell here and there. But it's been really dead for me. It's probably been the worst platform for me. Um, maybe if I list any, something different, maybe, you know, we might... You know, sales might pick up over there. Um, Facebook. Facebook has been great for me for hats. I've been selling um, hats on there. The more I list, the more... I've been selling on there. I haven't list. I haven't sold too many. Cause I, I also haven't listed since I stopped list perfectly maybe a week ago or something like that. Uh, but I think from time to time I'll probably just go on there, you know, and list some hats. We'll see. But as far as list perfectly goes, I'm not going to um, to be using it anymore f right now. Uh, I think eBay is doing okay, and you know, like I said. If I want while I'm listing on eBay, because I got the listing down of the hats on eBay now quick, I could list, you know, a bunch of hats in in like 20 minutes or something like that. So maybe I'll start, you know, on Facebook, listing on Facebook as far as hats go isn't complicated either. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. You know, you got to try things and see how everything goes. Enough, enough jibber jabber. Uh, let me show you what I sold uh, or well, not what I sold what uh i picked up at the bins today it was kind of it was kind of dead it was kind of not not a lot of good stuff so i just grabbed a bag got a bag full of stuff uh I filled up my ikea bag that's what i wanted to say so as it was full you know i left louise i got my hats bread and butter i saw hats all day every day uh this one's pretty cool corduroy i don't know what that logo is if you know what that logo is let me know i'll probably uh google lens it Hats, we got some cool vintage ones down here, trucker hats, so that's pretty cool. Got a big Ed Hardy, Christian Ajaju, um banner here, so that's pretty cool. I saw a new one, goes for like 25 bucks online, so use one. I'll see if I can get $15 of it, out of it. Weighs nothing, so that's cool. Found the horror uh, tape set, House. Have you guys ever seen these house movies? They're ridiculous. Ridiculous and awesome. Uh, it's a two set, so that's pretty awesome. Didn't look it up, just bought it. Not gonna leave that behind. Uh, found some graphic novels, if you as you guys saw, uh, volume one of Witchblade. I remember when she was super popular. The Boys. Oh, this is volume one. Awesome. So the third season of The Boys is coming out on Amazon. So that's pretty cool. That might help that sell. 
World of Warcraft, The Working Dead, oh, was a Loot, Cr Loot Crate exclusive, exclusive. Uh, Kirkman, um, the creator of Walking Dead, used to shop at the comic book store that I, that I worked in, worked at, in, um, Culver City. Yeah, I always see him there all the time. Looks like there's a signature on here from one of these guys. Uh, Beast, M Marion Churchland. Oh, that's an interesting cover. That's pretty cool. It's like paint it. Hack Slash, Omnibus, Volume 2. That should be pretty decent. And Invincible. Invincible. Uh, volume 1. Oh, Volume 1. Awesome. I actually wanted to read this. I might read this before I sell it. But the TV show, uh, the animated series is on um, Amazon. Still haven't checked it out. Need to check it out. And then I picked up these hockey pucks. They were there. I said, right, why not? I think their hockey's in the playoffs right now or something like that. Toronto Maple Leafs. Boston Bruins. Uh, Pittsburgh Penguins, I think. And Colorado Avalanche. So... You know, odd stuff has been selling like that at, on my store, and I just, I just like moving that. It's, it's, this is fun for me. This is fun. This is what I like selling. Um, little Tweety Bird plush. I just sold one, so I thought I'd uh, list another one. This one's from 1998, I believe. It still has a tag, so that's cool. A pair of uh, what's his name, Buzz Lightyear legs, and this is gonna be uh. So I can make customs on my other channel. By the way, if you haven't heard about my other channel. Okay, some of you guys might know. Some of you might not know. Uh, I might be new to this channel. But I also have a another channel called Taco Lord Channel. And it is my channel that lets me get creative. Let's me draw, doodle, make things. Um, just anything I want to do when it comes to art or creating or building something. So you're in, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, head on over there. Um, and check out the channel. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I do have some ideas uh, planned because I also haven't I haven't list uh, uploaded any videos over there because of I, we were gone for that month and a half month month and a half. Uh, but I had a lot of ideas uh, come in, so I want to get that channel up and going again because it's fun and that's my like little stress reliever and lets me you know step away from eBay because it's like eBay is running in my mind. Like the all day, it's like, oh, let's see what sells. Okay, what can I do? What's this? You know, what's going on? So me being able to do some art, sitting down, creating something, lets me focus, take my the focus away from eBay and de-stress a little bit. Um, so yeah, so that's channel. That's that channel. So if you're into art, you like doing any of that stuff, doodling, drawing, sewing, creating, um, collaging, collaging is that a word? Uh, go on over to the Taco Lord channel. I'll put the link in the description and uh, check it out. Hot Wheels, of course. I pick up Hot Wheels, look at the ones, keep the ones I like. And the other ones I just put in a big box and eventually sell it off once that box is complete. This is a cheap, like, um, just a cheap die cast. Uh, but it's kind of cool. I like that. It's just this construction on the front. That's a nice little one. I like that. The lifeguard action. So I think that's a McDonald's toy. This one too. On oh, no, a Burger King. So is this Burger King? No, that one's McDonald's. If you hear that yelling when he's watching TV over there. Cool. So that's awesome. Got, uh, <laughs> I know this is a popular cartoon right now called Bluey, I think. I think it's Bluey. I don't know if this is Bluey. I think he's blue, so probably not. But I thought, for some reason, I like that. I thought that would be cool on my shelf. Uh, always, always putting together a box of Imagine Next figures and motorcycles. And then found this little Lego Duplo Spider-Man. Some of these are worth actually pretty good money. I just pick them up. If not, again, just put a box together of little action figures. And um, somebody will pick them up. And then the last piece found a little strawberry for Monique. And she loved it. So figured while we're at it, uh, might as well throw in what sold over the weekend, what sold for Memorial Weekend. It was a little slow, but it wasn't dead. So I did sell stuff, probably about 15 items maybe. Uh, a lot of hats and other items here. I did sell two things that both uh, those two buyers canceled. And it's, it's funny because one, 
one buyer bought like this little lot of dolls that I have and she paid probably seven dollars for it altogether it was probably like 12 bucks and um, yeah after she paid for it maybe like an hour later or an hour or two later she messaged me and how can I uh, I need to cancel this can you please cancel it you know I I forgot what she said some else came up I was like okay whatever sure I'll cancel it but I read the the the, the email kind of late so she started to put in a she put in a um, she opened a return and I was like why are you opening a return like I, now I can't do anything on my side at least it wouldn't let me at least through the phone it wouldn't let me um, so we were going back and forth and I was telling her please close the return and open a a you know cancel cancel the order she said, okay, how do you do this? And I was like, well, first you gotta, you know, I think, I'm pretty sure you gotta cancel the the return and then do the, or yeah, cancel the return and then open a, a you know, cancel the order. So she finally did that and she kept going back and forth asking me questions and I was like, I wasn't too sure because I don't really buy a lot of stuff on eBay. I do buy some things here and there, but not enough to remember like the little steps to do things, but <clears throat> we worked it out. The other person just said, hey, can you cancel my order? I said, sure, why not? I think it was like a $5 hat, so no big deal there. But let's hop over to the table and I'll show you what uh, what I sold. Uh, we got we got this piece. Sorry, it's kind of dark over here. I forgot to turn on this light. Uh, right here, I think last time I went to the bins, this, bins, this little uh, travel document organizer. And this sold for $39.99 plus shipping. So that was awesome. And let's see what else we got. We got one of one of my personal old hats, this Thrasher hat, nice and used, sold for thirteen ninety nine plus shipping. We got a Fox uh, youth hat, used, sold for eight dollars plus shipping. Got this little Hulk figure. This was for my personal collection, so I had to let it go. Sold for eight forty nine plus shipping. You can still get those at Target right now. And we sold a lot of Tupperware here that sold for $12.74 plus shipping. Sold a uh, little 45 right here, Survivor, Eye of the Tiger, and Take You on a Saturday. That sold for $5.25 plus shipping. We got a Sturgis Harley hat, uh, shirt here with the cut off sleeves. I thought this was going to sell a lot quicker. We've had this for a while. Wasn't it, We didn't even have it priced high. Uh, but it finally sold for $10.62 plus shipping. Got a Nike hat here. Used, of course. Sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Snap-on, like, anniversary, I think. Yeah, anniversary. Uh, 100 years. Sold for $13.99 plus shipping. Got this Bridge Climb Sydney. Cool little hat here. Sold for $9.79 plus shipping. We got the Go-Go's, little 45 right here. We got the Beat and Can't Stop the World. It's pretty cool, huh? That sold for $4 plus shipping. Uh, got those at the bins. Another hat right here, Schneider. Little camo, digital camo hat, sold for $10 plus shipping. Destin, Florida hat here, sold for $6 plus shipping. We got this little Easter uh, egg from 1983. We've had this for a while. Back when Monique and I first started reselling, like really, really getting into it, we were watching uh, Crazy Lamp Lady, and we bought a lot of stuff that she was selling. And of course, you know how that works out. You aren't able to sell any of that stuff, but she is. So we've had this since then, I believe. And it finally sold for eight dollars and seventy-four cents plus shipping. Got a little Thai gorilla going out here. Sold for three dollars and sixty-eight cents plus shipping. It's had that guy forever. Little WWE SmackDown um, official souvenir program here. Found this at the bins. Also sold for twelve forty-nine plus shipping. Uh, Green Day bullet in a Bible is still sealed. That sold for seven dollars plus shipping. Then we got another hat here, Nash. Uh, sold for eleven dollars and one cent plus shipping and that's it that's everything that's old and that's it that's it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment subscribe say hi to orphy down in the comment comments thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow the after one of these days i'll see you again soon um 
because we got to keep thrifting so we can keep selling and uh, talk to you soon. Say hi, Orphy. Say hi, Orphy. Say hi, Orphy.